Welcome back, lunatics, Luna Classic Gang, Luna Classic Fam. We are once again looking at none other than Luna Classic. Wonderful. Anyway, we are moving up for the day. You can see that we are at the 618. And you know what else we are going to do? Is we're going to get rid of a lot of this stuff right now. Uh, don't necessarily got to get rid of it, but it can't stay because it's too cluttered. Anyway uh you did actually bounce off this other box right here uh this white one but that's kind of irrelevant at this point so basically what you're looking at right here potentially should you end up moving back on up even further you could even say if you really wanted to push it uh you have a head and shoulders or inverse head and shoulders forming since i did just invert the chart yada 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 that ends up playing out you should actually end up getting back up to that high right there i'd imagine you actually end up going past it which should you end up doing that that means that we get our super large wedge into play and we are going to pump to the stars we're gonna pump to the moon which is basically this right here so let me hide that and then get rid of the brushy brush uh what you guys can see is that we have this several month long wedge forming um quite nicely and if you get the measure move for it roughly speaking actually we could probably move it over a little bit roughly right around there um you do actually end up getting up to roughly about three zeros 25 which if you are curious as right now i am that's roughly about 176 percent gain meaning if you're just holding that's 176 percent gain if you're trading it you could do lots of monies with that lots lots and lots of monies now um heading back down to i don't know the depths of despair uh what are we necessarily looking at right now is uh like it did say just a minute ago you are at the 618 right now and that wick isn't or this current four hour candle doesn't look exactly the best um with it half of it being like essentially a wick and so following from there let's go into the hourly so that was last hour right now we currently haven't moved but it's currently down a little bit just a little wee bit uh so even if you do end up coming back down you want to hold right here in like the short time frame roughly this box because you can even just see on this uh like just a couple days i guess you could say Roughly speaking, this is like an inflection point. And what I mean by that exactly is you had a reaction right there. You had reactions right here. You had a reaction right there again. So on and so forth. And you actually can see on the small profile right here, you do have a POC. So, um, yeah, there's that. And actually, if we were to even, we could even draw that out even further. And you can see just even generally speaking you have even more of a reaction there so uh that's going to be your key area that ranges essentially between uh four zeros nine one zero nine and four zeros nine zero five one hold there and you should be able to move back on up if you end up losing that or i mean you could even push it and say you want to hold above these closures but uh if you end up coming back down where you are going to look for is either eight nine eight four to eight nine five zero if you close below eight nine five zero but you don't break this wick then i think there's a decent chance that you actually might go down a bit further from there and i'll be sure to update you guys that with that should that end up happening but um other than that once again, if you guys could leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff, really helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. But other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.